Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. There's my first pumpkin patch. Now I'm gonna try one on here. Of course, I have a table full of Pascas that you can't see. I start with whatever one I want to start with and just go for it. There's my one pumpkin. Yes, I am coloring like I had crayons. This is how I do it. Nice and easy, but so much fun. Forgive me if I do not talk. I can definitely run my mouth, but there's really no need for me to talk through the whole thing. And I don't know how to cut up video, so you're gonna probably get bored to death watching this. But at least you'll get to see what it is that I do, step by step. And there's never any organization to it. So here's my one pumpkin. Then I'm going to go with my other pumpkin right here. Boom. And usually I'll like follow all the way through and then just paint on top, but that's a pretty light one. So I'm gonna do this. I'll go ahead and grab my yellow. Grab that bad boy and put it in there. The old fatty. I love tall pumpkins, but I love me some fat pumpkins too. So I'll just put that in there real quick. If you notice, I know it's kind of hard to see, but see how it grabs some of the orange over here? I ain't crying over that because I like it. I get some mix of my colors. So. A lot of it is a happy accident. How about that? See, Bob Ross knew what he was talking about when he was talking about happy accidents. So I got my fatty yellow there. I'll finish coloring in my green one. Now, usually I will like try to do all my base colors first, but sometimes I get bored and my attention span's just not there. Then all of a sudden I might be like, okay, well, I got three there. I'm going to go ahead and add some detail so that way I can kind of see where it's going to go. But I'll see how far I can get without having to start adding detail. It's usually not that far, though. Just so you can see what it is that I do. And then here's another color pump again. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slap in here. I did have my husband buy some black chalk spray paint, but the weather's been kind of rainy since I've gotten it. So I haven't had a chance to spray paint any of my rocks, but I would love to do this on a black background because I've seen a lot of these colors on a black background and I really like it. And I think the chalk paint would be fun. So, and it seems like that's like a popular style. I know it was last year, at least at the Dollar Tree with like some of the signs that they were doing and all had like a black chalk background with the colorful fall stuff on it. So, there you see so far, I got those pumpkins. I love this fat mama right here. So that one is my, this is like one of my all time favorite colors. It's called red wine. I bought a 12 pack of these because I just absolutely love this color for whatever reason, I have no idea, but I do. So we're gonna slap that pumpkin right here, boom.
and I'm just gonna let this video keep running so that way you can see exactly how long it took me to do this because I'll do it from start to finish. Any other time I've done video, I've cut it off. Or I said, okay, well then I'll finish it up and then you never quite see me finish it up. So I'm just gonna let you see all the dirty. I don't care. I'm just not organized when it comes to this videoing stuff. That's why I usually won't do it, so. <sighs> then of course we pop up. Ain't much room here. Eh, maybe I'll do that green one. Then we kind of ran out of room for the uh, other orange one I have over here. So it's all good. Of course, I found this style of pumpkin online uh, browsing Pinterest. I like to find different art styles. And this is one that just appealed to me, so that's why I went for it. And then, of course, I just did a little bit more black line work. I mean, they had it in there in what they did, but I did a little bit more. And of course, I get all happy with my mix of colors because it was a little more like just orange with a little bit of black detailing and maybe a hint of highlight here and there. But as you could tell, I am a big fan of color, so. We're gonna go with that. Then, this guy was actually like red. So, we'll pop that little red booger in right there. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way, but I figure you don't need to actually see me coloring. The stand I'm using to hold my phone while this videos is I broke it <laughs> so it's like barely balanced so I don't have a lot of playroom with it to like move it around so that's another thing I want to do I guess I need to invest in a good stand so uh, I could try to do some video All right, let's get that last in there. Well, it looks like the only guy I'm kind of missing is that one there. But what's nice is too, even though I did that, if you watched at the beginning where I kind of stopped the green there, you still can throw another like pumpkin in. I think that's what I might end up doing. But what I'm gonna do is, and I like how these rocks Kind of like round out and i try to at least make part of it this front so that way you can kind of go around and see i'm not great at the bottom and i usually don't like wrap it around i've done it on a few rocks but i just thought it was fun with this one being it's kind of deep so we'll do this as you can see how i popped that one right in front of the red of course, it's going to bleed a little bit red, but it's okay. Because once it dries, you can go back over it. And this paint is pretty opaque. It's great. And why I'm using this one instead of the bigger one that I have somewhere, I have no idea. But it's what's handy. Usually when I use these, just to kind of give you a heads up, I use two sizes that are my favorite. I use the 1M, which is extra fine point, and I use the 3M, which is a fine point. This one, the one I have in my hand now, is a 3M. It's called a fine point. And um, I've actually recently discovered, I know they have larger sizes, but I really didn't feel I needed them because the rocks I was doing were much smaller. But now that I've gotten these big, beautiful rocks from all kinds of awesome friends who like the rock hunt and like to share their wealth with me, um, I decided to pop up and I've grabbed a couple of what they call the 5M, which is, I don't know if it's got a name, uh, 5M, I don't know if it's um, like a medium point or what it's called, but I have the one, the three, and the five. One being the smallest, and I'm gonna go just a little off by color, but I'm gonna show you what each one is. Here's 
1M, there's 3M, and there's 5M. And then what I'll do is, there's that fat tip, there's that medium tip, and then that nice detail-y tip. So we got 1M, 3M, 5M. So there are the ones that I definitely rock the most. And 5M was actually by accident. When I bought them, I thought I was getting 3M and I didn't read the fine print. So when I got those, I was like, Yahoo, these are great. So actually that was pure luck. Now you see how much time I've invested in this, just what basic background color. Um, if you notice too, like I was talking about before with the black background, but I love the color of the rock. That's why I didn't change it. And I knew once I hit it with clear, it was gonna warm it up a little bit and make that white pop a little bit more. But totally up to you what you wanna do, but I think it's a great fall color. You know, keep a little bit of that natural beauty of that rock and then have the pop of color that we like to add to it. So this is what I got. This is what I'm gonna work with. I wish I would have timed it, but I did and I have no idea. But here we go. This is what we got so far. Now, what I'll do is, of course, you could start out with anyone that you want that you want to play with. I will grab this one. And it doesn't always have to be the exact same colors. And let me tell you, I will constantly layer colors. So there is no rhyme or reason to this. I have, this is called bright yellow orange. This is just a basic yellow. I have, I have so many different colors in these things. They're fantastic. Where's the color at, Tina? Where's the color? This is like a flesh color and I can't find a name of it. But you can see the three differences. Plus I have orange, I have peach, I have all kinds. But looking at this, I actually did throw in this kind of off orange. Let me show you what the orange is next to this one. So that was my base color. This one I'm gonna highlight with a little bit, but you're barely gonna see it, but I still like that layering. So I go around the outside edge of the pumpkin. As you can see here, actually I did that wrong. And that's another beauty of these things. You can mess up with them. So there's my center hump. Here's my outer left, outer right. Like I said, you can barely see the color difference, but it is there. So I can see a little bit of a guide of where I wanna go with it as far as color. Now I'm not gonna use every color of orange and yellow that I showed you because I will use it in other pumpkin colors. So, I don't try to use every color at every pumpkin, but if I feel like the, it needs to come more alive, I'll grab colors I think is gonna add to it and make it pop. So now I'm gonna go to my yellow. And oh, in case you haven't figured it out, my hand, I will constantly be painting on it, cleaning off the nibs of the uh, paint pen. So yes, that's the sloppy artsy fartsy in me that I like to say I am. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. See, this is what I hate. Oh, and I did it again. See, look, I messed up. I wanna do my hump here to go with this. But for some reason, cause I'm kind of like drawn off to the side, I'm not getting that. So, now you can see what I did. Hello, if I could put it here where you can actually see it. Like I said, the beauty of these things is you can fix them all the time. So you see what I did? And I'm gonna go back with my orange. I guess it's good that I do mess up. So that way you can see I mess up all the time. So that ain't nothing new. But just to get your basic in there, thin out that yellow a little bit cause I got a little thick there. It's okay. I don't mind. 
all right i still don't have as much it's not as bright i do have a brighter yellow but i'm also it looks like i threw some of my favorite wine color in here and usually with the wine color it's funny because it's dark but it's light it's hard to explain but i usually try to keep it at the bottom like a shadow so a lot of times i can like come up like this i could do a little hump like this um, do a couple little streaks up here and then i always add a couple little dots i am very much a dot person for my shading and detailing so you can see just what i did there again i might add a little one over here if I add any and I don't like it, I'll go back and paint over it. I don't care. It It's done when it's done, when Tina says so. So we'll do that there. And then now I'm getting antsy because I see a little bit of color here, but not as much as I have there. But if you haven't figured it out, I am the queen of outlining everything in black. I can't help myself. I really try not to because I want to do things different, but it happens to have become my style. So, and I have so many of these that I have killed the points of, but I keep them all because they all oh, like grab some ink. Hey, that one's like looking see-through. So that's gonna be a dud. I'm gonna grab another one right here. Boom. And this one right here, kind of around here. Sorry, I put my big hand in the way. Uh -huh. And I did hurt my back, so if I cry out, I am so sorry. But it's been annoying and I'm loud. So we'll outline here. Give that little pumpkin a little definition. Make me happy. And of course, what I love about this style too is that um, it's not neat. There's nothing neat about what I do, but I can go back over, back and forth to clean it up. But as you can see, that pumpkin's starting to come alive. So I wanna do a couple little lines up in here and a couple there. So I like kind of show that shape, that turn. And then I don't like how thick that is. So of course, my butt will go back. Kind of blend it out. Ooh, that yellow looks much brighter. I need to do, 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 yeah, buddy. So see that where we added some color there? Like I said, I might do it one way and then decide, no, nope, it's not enough. I don't like it. There you go. Still does not look like this, but that's okay because it will all come together whenever it's ready. Right, I got a little bit of line work in there. I'm actually going to put my stem. Oh, God, I wish I knew what I was. I'm trying to say, okay, I'm looking at things backwards here. Sorry, people. So we got that stem there. And what I also like about this style is these lines I kind of like don't make perfect. I don't know if this style's got a name or not. It's not my my invention by all means. But um, I don't like the way this black one's right neither. All right, I got 500 more. I just gotta buy one. And excuse me, cause I got some on the floor here. And yeah, I know I look really pretty. <laughs> but it's not a fashion show. But let me hump this line over, hump this line over, do kind of like a trace line. So you see what I got going here? And like I said, I always like to add my dots. I'm very much a dot girl. that I've kind of run into this one. I'm just going to define this one a little bit just with the black because I have it in my hand and I have no self-control. 
Sometimes this black thing just gets out of control and I keep using it. I love a black liner. I just think it makes things pop, especially color. I like the contrast. I was always like this as a kid. I remember doing a lot of things in art class and always having this look and it kind of being my thing. So I always thought it was kind of funny. So I've carried something on from when I was a youngster. He, he, he. You can see what I got going here. Like I said, it doesn't happen overnight. It's slowly progressing, but now I'm kind of getting tired with that. So I'm gonna pop over to this one. I'll never be finished. I will go back, but this is how it happens. I can see what I'm doing. I'm lining and dotting, dot, 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 dot. A little bit of line, dot, dot, dot. I do some dots down here to kind of pile up, start to lighten as I go towards the top. Do my dots heavy down here. As I start to round out, I'll go a little bit later to lighten them up as they go up higher. So you can see how I added some color to that. But this funky flesh color I have running in here also. So let me see if I can find what I did with it. Actually, and what I love too is I got a thin one of those, which I got really lucky with finding that because it's hard to find some of these tones. Here we go. I'm videoing, just so you know. That's my son. But just to give you an idea of the next color, he's being silly, but hey. He's just like his mama, right? I didn't know you were going that wrong with me today. That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. A lot of these people already know me, dude. But I just sure. did I just didn't want you uh doing anything real bad. <laughs> and all these people are my friends on this. And I'd love to help if I can. So you can see what I got going here. And again, if you ever do anything and you don't like it, you can go back over it and make it disappear. And sometimes I just can't wait. I got to do certain things, but I know I'm going to go back and do detail in here and it might mess that up, but I don't care. I'll do it later. But one thing I am going to do being, I kind of did almost everything on this pumpkin. I am going to do a little bit of the vine work. So that way you can see a little bit of each one. Boom, there's one. I've got to get some new of these because I tear them up. Make sure y'all can't see that I'm licking it. Yes, I do lick the tips in order to clean them off because they'll get dry. The rock will dry them off, as you can see. So you kind of get it, got to get it primed again to get them to come out. A lot of times you just need to dampen them and wipe it off and you'll get the chalky debris off and then it'll start writing again. But yeah, that's how I roll. And I am trying, ah, look like there was some brown in here too. So I'm actually gonna, I got this thin brown one. And the fun thing about all this, of course, too, is these all never look the same. I could try, but it would never happen. There's always going to be something different. That's, I think, one of the cool things about art is not every one of them is going to look the same. So that I just added a couple of brown lines. I don't know if I put it inside the picture. And actually, this one isn't really going to pop, pop until I get, I love, this yellow is, it's a pastel yellow. It doesn't have the name on it here. Well, it's not in English, that is. But um, it's from the pastel pack that I have. And it's a really nice, bright 
yellow. And I love it for little highlighting on things that have like orange and yellow. So I'm a line dot dot, line dot, line dot 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 dot. Notice I put some dots in the other yellow line just to add a little detail without making it a total line. So I'll do one like right here. Let me see, I'll turn it this way. So I do my line. You could see the lighter color inside the darker yellow, dot, dot, dot. So when you look at it, you don't think nothing of it, but it's just a really nice detail to add to your work that makes things pop. So you'll enjoy doing it. And usually I try to keep, of course, the lighter color to the top, the darker colors to the bottom, but it doesn't always work that way, but that's okay because if you all are gonna like test my light source, you go right ahead because it's not gonna work because it's not correct. It's just what I like to do and what makes me happy, so. Okay, now I'm going to go to pumpkin back here and then sometimes you can do the dots and then as you go down you just lighten up on them because this is like a highlight I'd like to do different type types of highlights just to add interest to what you're doing Again, if you do it and you don't like it, go back over with the basic background color that we had. Make it disappear. So you don't always have to do what I do. You might not like everything that I do. But that's a different way to highlight a pumpkin. As you can tell, it's more than what I have on this one here. But that's okay. I always find something new or different to do that I like. So let me do, um, look in the back room and, yep. So I'm gonna do this, this, Look inside it and see if it's in there. If not, look in my clear bag. Sorry, we're trying to find things, people. And of course, it's like the weekend, so I don't have anything where it belongs. <laughs> Yellow. Yep. So you can see how I've done on that pumpkin right there. I'm going to add stem to the top. Do my curly cues, do my wide spots wherever I want it. Da -da -da. I love my dots. Finally found, as you can tell, a black Posca that works nicer. So I will go over different areas I've already done just to make them pop nicer. Sometimes it'll get too thick and then I don't like it. And I'll go back and just thin it out with another color next to it. So a lot of times it's back and forth, back and forth. I do it a lot. So it is like all good. It all turns out in the end. That's what makes it fun. Now what I am gonna try to do is, is be quiet a little bit. I'm just gonna keep going because I'm like distracting myself as far as jibber jabbing and going slower, I think, than what I normally would. So I'm just gonna keep going so you can see how I'm working. And if something comes to mind, I'll share it with you. 
regular orange, 3M. Oh, one more thing. You could see I added a little bit of thicker orange here and I'm gonna go back with my flesh color and show you. See how I can blend out. That's another way that you can do different color highlighting. Of course, it's gotta be wet. You can see where it's just very slightly a different color. But what's nice is, is you can go back and forth while it's damp, which is what I'm doing, to give me another shade, to give me another dimension. So I'm gonna go in there with some dots. And I did some mixing while it was wet. So that way I can show you different things that you can do. As you can see there, a little bit of color there. I'm gonna do that at the bottom because usually it's darker down here. So as you can see, I put in a, a good amount of orange right here. I'm gonna go back with my flesh color. I'm going to pull up on it while it's still wet to like blend it in. And if I move it every once in a while, I apologize because I can't see with where I have it now. But see how I went ahead and did some blending there? Add a little bit more color there. I'm going to lighten this one out because it's actually darker and I don't want it darker than the bottom. That's just my preference. But down here, if I want it darker while it's still wet, I'm going to take that orange, put it down here at the bottom, and I'm going to dot up on top of the wet too, because that gives a really cool look. So that's another way that you can shade, if you could see that. There we go. Yeah, I said I was going to be quiet. I lied. <laughs> it's all good. So you could see where because I left the little nib dirty, I was able to smear some color out, but I like that, so I don't have a problem with it. I think it looks cool. It gives me some dimension. I'm gonna go grab me some brown, because there is some brown in here. And of course, you got different looks here because of different points. This is a really fine point. If you want a little bit more warmth, you go for the thicker one, like the 3M instead of the 1M like I used right there, but I'm okay with that. And I'm just going to add a hint of this yellow-orange. Not a lot, but just a little bit to change it up a little bit. And remember, it's not gonna stay just like that. We're also gonna outline, so that's gonna make this whole pumpkin pop. I love doing all these little extra, like kind of outside of the line lines. Just adds so much style to all this that's going on. So you have fun with it. That way you can mess up. And it's part of the artwork. Woohoo! Put my little stem on here. Boom. Bit of fun stem work on that one. Add a dot here and there where I feel like something needs a little something something. It's coming along people, it's coming along. So let me grab my fatter brown because I got a lot of brown going in this. But just to show you, 
see the difference in the brown and on top of that wine color I like. Very subtle, but that's what gives me all them cool colors and that cool look that you all like. So even though it doesn't seem like it's a lot and that it's doing anything, it is. So make sure you do it. Add as many colors and layers of color as you like. That is the fun part of all of this. Add some dots down here. Now what I also did too was I noticed I got some red in here, which I really like. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the red down at the bottom. I might add some up top like I did there, but the reds, it's bright, but it's, it's darker almost than, uh, it's hard to explain, but I have two different reds. This one is called dark red. Then you have this one, which is, can you please show it to me in English? Let me find another one. Just this bullet sheet. Okay, this one just says red. And then that one that I said that I like, the wine one, the red wine. So here's your red wine, dark red, and then on this side is your regular red. Lots of fun colors. Posca is my jam. I'm going to go with the dark red right now to line it up with the brown that I used. Add some dots. That's pretty darn bright. That's okay. That's fine. Also, too, another hint. Like, see how I have the humps of the pumpkin, the shape? If you notice, I'll do the line, and then if I want to shade and color with dots, I do it like that, but I'll round up to this line, and then I'll come up and round up to this line. Now, I don't know how that looks because I'm not seeing it, but hopefully you're getting an idea of what, how I'm trying to highlight the shape in by using dots. A little bit more dot here in the center at the bottom. As I come up and out, I thin out on the line. So you can see there what I did with the red. Boom, 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 boom. Got that a little bit more right to that part because I like it. Mm. Of course, this one had little hints of orange, but I haven't used this color yet. I want to share it with you. It's like a. Um, Oh, I need to find a bigger one of this for the name of it. It's like a coral orange. That's another fave out of the ordinary color. It come in the pastel pack. So here is, of course I ain't gonna have the name of it. It's a coral color. I'm gonna add a little bit of something, something with that cause it's lighter. As you can see, I was able to add a little interest to that pumpkin without necessarily going to yellow. But I might add yellow anyway, but I'm not yet. But I am going back to my flesh color in the fine point, the 1M. And I am gonna add those little details I already had in this from the last time I did it. A lot of lines and dots. Line, dot, dot, dot. Line, dot, dot, line. A dot here, a dot there. I need to do a little stripey, stripey here. I need to do another line here. We'll go off there, off the top. So that way we added a little bit more color there. And I do, even though I use the, um, the coral color, I still do want to add orange. I like the orange in this one. So, because I feel like the brown kind of gets lost, but I still like that dimension. But the orange kind of 
brings it back to life and lets the maroon still show off. So, uh, well, maroon, the wine red. So there's that pumpkin there. Eh, it looks okay. But when you go in with that black marker, it's like, bring it to life, baby. And of course I lost the one that's got the nice point. I have a hundred of them and I gotta figure out which one is the one I was liking for the day. And this one ain't it either. This is the story of my life, people. Well, if you would see the hot mess, oh, here it is. The hot mess I have here that my husband puts up with. He's like total awesome sauce. But just look at that. Look at how that black lines just make it all come together for me. There's my little fatter line, fatter line, and I'm going to go ahead and put my little stem here. And my little squirrelies. So you can see how that one turned out. See how everything's coming together? Like I said, that's not finished product. I'll probably go back and add dots here and there, but it's coming along and it does not start out like gangbusters. It's a work in progress all the time until I say, all right, I'm done. And I put up the markers. So let me do, that's orange. I want my big peach to come over here on my red pumpkin. Boom. 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 And my dots. And a couple dots on this one. Dot, 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 dot. For my highlighting up top. here to lighten that stinker up. I'm going to go with, okay, yeah, that's the regular red. I need to um go with a little bit deeper red to add a little bit of oomph. Even though I don't have it in the other one, I'm liking this red, so we're going to add Fine. Um, I want my skinny orange. Where do I do the peach? Let me see, I did the peach already in the dark. I need the orange. Where's my skinny? Let, let me do yellow. Let's see, sometimes I just go away from what I did and do what I'm feeling at the moment. That way you get some really unique colored pumpkins here. You never know what you're going to end up with. First, let me add some dots. Having some fun here. Add that yellow on the outside. Boom. 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 Na -na -na. Might not be a lot done to it, but to me, it's enough. I need to put that black aside so I can stop mixing it up with everything. Poop. We'll get rid of that one. That's not it. This one? Nope, that's not it. it must be this one. Here it is. Here it is. Shoop -doom. So I really got this pumpkin going on. I'm trying to 
but it's a little stuffy stuff here. some oomph with my extra lines. turns out so nice. This one I'm going to add more to because I feel like it's not enough to it. I only have two colors going in that one. And it's funny. I am an oddball. I like to do odd numbers if I can. At least three. At least. At least. Let me go back with a darker green because I haven't done this one yet. But let me see what I can add with this. There we go. So, at least I have given you also a couple of different techniques I've used. I do my dotting, how I shade with dotting. Um, here you can see I'm doing a little dotting now, but then just a little bit of straight line. If you look really close, you can see that green in there. It's not overpowering, but it's giving it a little bit more dimension. So that's why I wanted to go back and add a little something, something to that guy. So we got that in there. That way I feel like there's something a little bit more going on with that one. Now, I have a lime green that I can't figure out what I did with it. Oh, I think it might be over here, let me see. Well, not quite, but we're gonna grab these right here. So that way we can do this oddball pumpkin. I love the off shape of him too. not real prominent in that color, but I'm going to get that dark teal. Just do a little. Now see, that's kind of weird. I kind of don't like that, but that's going to get fixed. And that's okay, because I can make some of that disappear, which is no big deal. That's what I love about this. Like, see how thick this one is? go back make it disappear but what's nice is notice because I did it while that darker green was wet now you can see a shade that I mix there to give that a little bit of dimension so again that was a happy oops those can be some of the best turnouts when you're doing something is those happy little oopses it's like this is so Cool. I did not plan on doing that, but look at how well it turned out. See this here where I went and thinned out that green, thinned out that green again. I don't like how thick this one is, so I'm going to thin it out, thin it out. There you go. So I was able to thin it out. And then it looks like I have that flesh color in there. I've really been liking that flesh color. But I, I like it with these kind of off-colored gourds because I feel like all pumpkins are kind of done orange and I didn't want it necessarily just orange. So I like to have, I love when you go and you get the white pumpkins or the, uh, they're like almost blackish gray. They're really weird looking. See, I was working on a bad boy upside down, but I wanted to bring it back up here so I can work with it. And then I need regular green in here, but I think this is going to be too thick. Yes, it is. But you saw how I thinned the other one out before. I'm going to do the same thing here. So that's what makes it fun. So we'll do that.
and you can see how thick that one is. I'm going to take this light green color that's the background and see how I did that. That alone adds detail and highlighting. Just taking this thin line in between the darker green. I'm going to do it right here, which I can barely tell I'm doing. I can do dots in this one to do some highlighting. So that shows you different things that I can do. And I hope that's in focus. There we go. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm going to grab, all right, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Whew. All right, black outline. And usually I am like listening to music and or I'm watching my Hallmark channel or, you know, but with this, I thought it would be a little easier not to have on all the distractions. So here I add a little bit of line work to it. And I'll go ahead and put, I know I put my hand right in the way too, I'm sorry. Let's do, did it again, put my hand right in the middle. Sorry guys, like I said, I'm not great at this. I gotta figure out better angles of how to do this. All right, looks like the only one I got is over here to mess around with. But like I said, I am gonna go back over some of these other ones because I'm gonna add something, something. I could just see it coming now. Let me do this green. Me, 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 me. We can see that. Then we're gonna do And the fun thing about this is, is because it's so little, you really don't have to do a lot. It's like done. And actually, what I'm gonna do too is, is um, no, I don't want the thin yellow. I want the here. This is the one I want. I think I'm gonna do. I'm oh, just not feeling this one. Y'all might not like it at all, but it's different, so I'll take it. I just feel like I needed another color on there. So we'll leave it at that. Pumpkin, pumpkin. can hear my dog crying because she's not getting my 100% attention. She's such a stinker. She's mommy's girl. I have to stem of that bad boy. I think that's about going to do it. And sometimes you just got to learn when to stop. 
And sometimes Gina doesn't know how to do that. And I get made fun of on the regular. But it's the way I see it. It's whatever makes me feel good. I do this for fun. For pleasure. And the nice thing about this is that it's really going to show off when uh, you add your clear coat to it. So it's not even... Mm. Oh, also too, one thing I forgot, dark gray, fine point. Being the stems are black, I just put a little bit of emphasis. Just a little line of gray so you can see the stem. No big deal if you don't do it. Oh, I gotta put squirrelies on this one, hello? can't not do it to all of them and not this poor little buddy. It's not fair. Yeah, that is so not fair. All right, now of course I'm not gonna put pumpkin patch in there because I didn't leave any room to do that because just the way it happened. But there you go. And I will show you the finished product after I clear coat it. And hope I didn't bore you to death and hope that helps.